You mentioned you dropped out of college. I did as well. Yeah. How was it for you? Like when you told your family and friends that you're dropping? So, out? so it, at, at that time, my mom was actually a college professor. So that was a huge fight. That was a big problem. Like with my, my dad was pretty cool with it. He understood. He, he's also a small business owner. He does a vending machine. He's a vending machine business. And I told him my plan. I was like, yeah, I want to start my own business. I want to figure something else out. And so I understood. He was pretty cool with it. And by the way, at that time, I was also taking other courses. I, I was taking like, like a financial education course out in Toronto. I live in Buffalo, New York. So I was driving like two hours to Toronto to be taking these financial education courses slash like it was like financial education and also personal development type classes and courses. So I was driving out there two to three times a week. So it's not that I was like dropped out of school and was doing nothing. It was that I was dropped out of school and I decided I'm going to figure out my own, like I'm going to figure something out. And I was just getting into the world of like self-development and real estate and, and investing and all this. However, at that time, my mom was a college professor and she didn't really, she wasn't really into all this, didn't really understand everything that I was like trying to do or up to. And so that was definitely a huge argument. But at the end of the day, I was like, mom, look at, this is the bill, the $12,000. Mom, are you paying that bill for me? Right. She says, no, you have to, my mom's from Argentina. She's Latina. She says, no, I call you have to pay the bill. That's your, mom, I'm not, I, no, I'm not going into debt for this. I, no. And, but, and obviously now she's, and she's always been, she was still, of course, supportive. She but at first, yeah, she didn't fully understand. Totally. That. That was that yeah, idea. I totally get it. And what I'm um, curious too, like when you were going to college, what was their expectation? And what was, what was your expectation? Like, What did you initially want to do after college? Did you go into it knowing you wanted to start some business or did you go into it having some other vision? No, that, I think that was the other thing for me is that I didn't have a clear path on what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go. I was going to school. A degree was business administration. I went into that because I thought it was a very broad and general degree that I figured I could just go get that degree and then go and figure out, get a job anywhere doing anything. So no, before that, I actually just didn't have a clear what I wanted to do until I came across until I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and then I started reading some of the Think and Grow Rich and 4-Hour Work Week and all these other self-development books where I stumbled upon this entrepreneurial path. So I just didn't know, I didn't have clarity on what I wanted to do until I figured out, I learned, oh, there is such a thing as financial freedom or I, I don't like to use the word passive income. I prefer the term leveraged income where I can leverage other people's time. I can leverage other people's money and I can live and build the lifestyle that I want. I can go and travel. I can do these things and still be able to make, you know, an end. So yeah, I just didn't have, that was the whole thing with me for college. It's like, dude, I'm not going back. I'm not going into debt for yeah. something. Like, I don't even know what I want to do exactly and all that, you know what I mean? For sure. No, for sure. So you got that first one, proof of concept, and then like you're at 40 units now. Yeah. What do you think was like the biggest thing that helped you scale to that number? Yeah. So a couple things. First thing to know is that after getting that first unit, it took me three years to get from one unit to seven. It took me three years to get from one to seven. And then it's gone like in maybe two and a half years from seven to four, right? So it took me three, a long time to figure, figure things out, get th mm -hmm. Again, I started at 21, like literally knowing nothing coming from nothing, you know? So during those first three years, it was just me like learning the business, constantly doing research, like watching YouTube videos, doing courses, just learning for those first three years. Because again, I was coming from nothing or just like from with no business experience or anything like that. So the first three years, it was just like first three years of just learning, or I don't know what you want to call that, like just like grinding, right? I was also working job. I was like serving. I worked a couple different jobs, serving at a restaurant. I worked construction for a little bit, like just jumped around to doing a couple different jobs while doing the Airbnb thing on the side. Then around 2020, late 2021 or two, I met these real estate investors, these landlords who had a couple hundred units around Buffalo and they had a lot of units vacant. They had dozens of units vacant and I ended up renting. They had an apartment building that had, it was a 24 unit apartment building and they had seven units vacant, which is pretty bad for real estate. They had a third of the building almost was vacant. And so basically we ended up striking up a deal where I rented all seven of those apartments for them and was able to get them to hundred percent occupancy. And then since then we built up a pretty great partnership and relationship. And they've given me, I now rent like 20 or 27 apartments from that one landlord across all around Buffalo, across a bunch of different buildings. So for me, it was just like, took three years of just like learning and getting systems and putting things into place. And then I met the right, I met the right people at the right time. And then they've just fed me more and more apartments. And since then I've taken on other apartments from other landlords as well. And that got me up to 40.